They missed all of the information and stuff like that. So when it came time for them to secure keeping things going, they didn't do the same thing I did. I didn't know so much, so much new things have came out about it. Which were more like minions. They're all executives at Bad Boy now. And they should be with all the shit that they did to please him. Like there was never a time where Cat told me he was gonna do something for me. If, if, if he said he was gonna do it, whether I asked for it or not, just because he said it, he made sure he did it. He is meticulous like that. Like, you know, you work hard, you, you get what you deserve. And you know, I'm, I'm blessed to have had people have had support me. You're a puppy. I know you too, Bob. Bad boy's going down, no suing your ass. <laughs> Cancel that bitch. I'll buy it. Yes, sir, Puffy. Come on, bitch. You know the routine. What you want, my What? What you gotta say now? What you gotta say now? You ain't got shit to say when you put your girl on the snap. Baby. Yo, babe. I mean, shit getting weird. Come on, baby. It's hot outside. You fucking wrapped up in that blanket. Let's go jog on the beach. In recent weeks, the music industry has been rocked by explosive allegations against renowned music mogul Diddy as singer and model Cassandra Ventura, widely known as Cassie, has come forward with disturbing claims. This controversy takes a chilling turn as accusations range from abuse and sex trafficking to hints at Diddy's involvement in multiple deaths. Moreover, it has been reported that she endured a cycle of abuse and violence at the hands of Diddy. The lawsuit paints a harrowing picture of Cassie's experiences, detailing instances where she was allegedly forced to consume alcohol and drugs regularly. Moreover, she claims to have been coerced into participating in intimate encounters with male prostitutes, all while Diddy reportedly filmed these encounters. Shockingly, the suit also alleges physical assaults against Cassie, often in front of business partners. As if these allegations weren't damning enough, Jaguar Wright's viral video expressing concern for Diddy's behavior adds another layer to the unfolding drama. Not only Jaguar, but Diddy's old friend 50 Cent also decided to support Jaguar, exposing Diddy for his hidden sex trafficking business. In what ways might 50 Cent's support for Jaguar Wright impact the dynamics of the allegations against Diddy? How has Diddy responded to these serious accusations, and what are the potential consequences he may face regarding his career and reputation? Stick around, because we are about to uncover all the juicy details. Alright folks, no need to wait any longer, let's begin. In a bombshell interview, R&B singer Jaguar Wright pulled back the curtain on what she described as shady and occultic practices within the Hollywood elite. Among those she called out, one prominent figure was Diddy, accused of trafficking for Hollywood elites. While these claims might seem too heavy to be entirely accurate, recent developments such as the lawsuit filed by Cassie, Diddy's ex, shed new light on the allegations. Jaguar Wright's interview with Real Life Production revealed startling accusations against Diddy, portraying him as a trafficker for Hollywood elites. According to Jaguar, Diddy hosted peculiar parties where only sex money exchanged hands, going so far as to allege that he was involved in eliminating anyone attempting to expose these practices. It was at a Diddy party, there could only be two reasons, money or sex. That's all that happens at Diddy parties, money and sex. The interview takes a dark turn when we consider Cassie's lawsuit against Diddy, where she accuses him of sex trafficking and other disturbing offenses. The details within the court documents paint a disturbing picture of Diddy's behavior, suggesting that Jaguar Wright might have been onto something that many were slow to catch on to. Jaguar's accusations extend beyond trafficking, delving into Diddy's history of abusing power within his role as the owner of Bad Boy Entertainment. She claims that Diddy harassed staff and upcoming artists, pressuring them into intimate acts to feed his ego. Shockingly, she recounts a female lawyer's traumatic experience walking in on Christopher Williams performing sexual acts with Diddy in exchange for a demo deal. In case you don't know, Jaguar hired an entertainment lawyer around 2003 who used to work for Bad Boy. She refused to reveal the attorney's name for fear of retaliation. Her lawyer revealed that Diddy met with the actor Christopher Williams as he wanted to sign a demo deal. The lawyer needed approval for some paperwork and went to Diddy's office. 
Jaguar said the door wasn't locked so she didn't think twice about just walking in. When she walked in, she saw Christopher Williams performing fellatio on Puff. Diddy approached the lawyer the next day and threatened to shut her mouth. She then asked Diddy why he didn't lock the door, so he shouted at her, saying he would do whatever he wanted in his building. In the video, Jaguar mentions the deaths of Andre Harrell, Al B. Shore, Heavy D, and Kim Porter, all of whom started Uptown Records with Diddy. The timing of their deaths and their alleged plans to write tell-all books adds a strange layer to the narrative. I was thinking to myself the other day, Uptown Records started with five people. Andre Harrell, I'll be sure, Heavy D, and Puffy. And Kim was the longest working employee because she was there from the very beginning. She was Andre's personal assistant. Mm. Kim is dead. Heavy D is dead. Yeah. Andre Harrell is dead. The only two left are Puffy and Al, and Al almost died. Not only this, but Kim Porter's death in particular has raised suspicions. Initially reported as pneumonia, some claim Diddy ordered her casket weeks before her death, suggesting premeditation. The circumstances surrounding Kim's death, including the alleged toxins found in her body, led to speculation about foul play. Jaguar Wright claims that Diddy's control extended beyond romantic relationships to friendships and professional connections. According to her, Diddy would trace and lure back anyone attempting to leave his network. Even in Cassie's attempts to pursue a romance with Kid Cudi, Diddy allegedly exhibited jealousy to the extent of destroying Kid Cudi's car. In case you don't know, Kid Cudi and Cassie were rumored to be more than just friends. They were romantically involved and stuck with each other, which didn't sit well with Diddy. Diddy, reportedly very upset about Kid Cudi and Cassie, allegedly threatened Cassie. The threat was shocking. It involved blowing up Kid Cudi's car. In a surprising turn of events, in 2012, news came out that Kid Cudi's car actually exploded. This left many people wondering if Diddy's threat had become a reality. The revelations go beyond personal relationships. Jaguar Wright accuses Diddy of hosting parties where young men in the industry are invited and abused in exchange for money and fame. The video raises questions about why bad things keep happening to people from Uptown Records while Diddy seems to stay safe. On November 16th, Cassie accused Diddy of harassment, assault, and controlling spanning over a decade. What was initially perceived as a strong and supportive relationship, as highlighted in Diddy's heartfelt 2022 BET Awards speech, now takes a grim twist as court documents reveal a troubling narrative about abuse and violence allegedly inflicted by Diddy on Cassie. Cassie, who initially rose to fame under Bad Boy Records in 2005, found herself entangled in a toxic and allegedly violent relationship with Diddy, a man almost twice her age. The court documents detail a disturbing cycle of abuse, violence, and trafficking that Cassie endured during their time together. Among the allegations, Diddy is accused of physically assaulting Cassie, resulting in bruises, burst lips, black eyes, and bleeding. The documents also claim that he engaged in destructive behavior, such as blowing up a man's car after learning about his romantic interest in Cassie. Additionally, Diddy allegedly forced Cassie to engage in intimate encounters with male workers while filming the encounters. The lawsuit reveals instances where Diddy's behavior escalated to the point of pursuing a rival industry executive with a firearm and demanding Cassie carry a firearm in her purse for intimidation. Moreover, he introduced Cassie to a lifestyle of excessive alcohol and substance abuse, requiring her to procure illicit prescriptions to satisfy his own addiction. One particularly disturbing revelation involves Diddy's alleged initiation of an act called voyeurism, where Cassie was reportedly directed to perform sexual acts with other men in Diddy's presence. The court documents describe how these encounters, known as freak-offs, were arranged frequently with all participants, including Diddy and Cassie, heavily intoxicated. From dictating her hairstyle to orchestrating sexual encounters, the documents paint a disturbing picture of the power dynamics within their relationship. 
Diddy's initial response through his lawyer involved denying the allegations, asserting that Cassie was attempting to blackmail him for $30 million. However, Cassie's lawyer countered this claim, revealing that Diddy offered a significant settlement reaching eight figures to prevent the lawsuit from proceeding. The swift settlement of the lawsuit has left many questioning the motives behind Diddy's actions. The disturbing thing is that 50 Cent also accused Diddy of sex trafficking and came in support of Cassie. In case you don't know, 50 Cent is one of the wealthiest hip-hop artists ever. Although he may not have the most Grammys, he is undoubtedly one of the most successful MCs ever. According to 50 Cent, Diddy allegedly insisted that Cassie keep evidence of her sexual activities with male prostitutes, even after she deleted any pictures or videos. The rapper describes how he received videos featuring Cassie and decided to confront Diddy about it. Surprisingly, Diddy reportedly showed no concern and even thanked 50 Cent for sharing the material. In a recorded conversation, 50 Cent expresses his disbelief and frustration at Diddy's calm reaction. Diddy allegedly acknowledged the pictures, revealing Cassie as his girl. This revelation led 50 Cent to believe that Cassie's actions were influenced by Diddy, suggesting a disturbing dynamic in their relationship. On the up and up, the nigga puffed like he called, we should kick it on the telephone and shit, after the maid shit. Right, right. And, and the nigga be like, Matter of fact, they sent me the girl pictures, like pictures of the girl, like, not the shit that y'all saw. Worse, way worse. <laughs> wow. Are you kidding me, yo? Like penetration pictures and, and... Nah, come on, man. Come on, Fifth. <laughs> All that, and I didn't even, I didn't even, I called the nigga, I said, yo, you really, you fuck with this girl, like, you really, like, you like her, like that? And he was like, yeah, that's, that's my girl. I'm like, alright, I'm gonna send you something. You look at it, you call me back. Man. I sent him the photos, the pictures and everything. And the nigga called back and was like, yo, thanks, man, about a snack, yo, I really appreciate that. Yo, where you get this shit from? <laughs> and I said, you know, like, cause they know, like, if something crazy is going on, if they send it to me, I'm a, I'll make sure it get out there, like, as far as this video.com is concerned. Yeah, yep. <laughs> Some speculate that Diddy may have used those videos to potentially manipulate and even traffic Cassie to other men in the industry. Recently, on November 22nd, the former president of Bad Boy Records, Harvey Pierre, found himself entangled in a sexual assault lawsuit by an anonymous woman identified as Jane Doe. The accuser alleges that she was not only groomed by Pierre, but also subjected to multiple instances of sexual assault during his tenure at Bad Boy. The swift dissemination of this legal development didn't escape the attention of 50 Cent. He sees the opportunity to hint at potential content based on Diddy's recent challenges. In an Instagram post, 50 Cent captioned, I told you they was coming in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, SMH. This is a movie, Surviving P. Diddy, or Diddy Do It or Not, executive produced by Curtis 50 Cent Jackson coming soon. The announcement came shortly after Diddy settled a lawsuit with Cassie Ventura, prompting 50 Cent to predict an incoming wave of legal issues for Diddy. In an earlier post, 50 Cent commented, LOL, he paid that money real quick. Should have done that before the sharks saw the blood in the water, and here they come in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, every woman he put his hand on. While Diddy isn't directly named in the lawsuit against Harvey Pierre, Bad Boy Entertainment, Bad Boy Records, and Combs Enterprises are listed as co-defendants. The disturbing nature of these allegations raises questions about the abuse of power in the entertainment industry, especially when such claims involve high-profile figures like Diddy. As the legal battles and public scrutiny intensify, it remains to be seen how these revelations will impact Didi's career and the broader conversation surrounding accountability within Hollywood. That's a wrap on our discussion about Jaguar and 50 Cent accusing Diddy of having a sex trafficking business. What do you guys think about it? How does Diddy's influence and power in the music industry play a role in the accusations against him, especially about the allegation murder of young artists? Why does Diddy seem to escape serious consequences when someone stands against him or accuses him of wrongdoing? We would love to hear your thoughts, so feel free to share your comments below. Your insights and opinions mean a lot.